Hey guys, well it's Vlogtober still and we're going to take a long weekend and head up to Northwest Indiana and, and uh, spend a couple nights at the Ameristar and so uh, it should be a nice weekend, be able to relax a little bit, spend some time with family and so we're going to take you guys with us, share some of the sights with you from our trip up to uh, Northwest Indiana. Good morning everyone. And so we're up and at them. And this is the view of Lake Michigan from our room. And you can see the sun is shining and reflecting upon the lake. And this is looking towards the east. And so you can see some of the factories in uh, Gary where they have the uh, United States Steel. And uh, But the lake looks a little bit rough this morning, but certainly a, a very nice view to start our day. We're on the 13th floor. We didn't even think they had 13th floors in most hotels, but they do here. And uh, so in honor of that, we didn't go and gamble last night because that might not have brought us good luck. But otherwise, we're just enjoying the view, having a quiet morning, and uh, getting ready to go have some breakfast. Good morning, everyone. So we are up and ready to face our day. Um, I think we're just gonna go get some breakfast first. Yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast. We may, we're looking for a a new, what do you wanna call it? It's not a cage, but like a little. So my, our dog has a, like a playpen that he sleeps in at night and it's starting to cave in on one side because we put a blanket over him when we put him to bed at night. Um, so we're looking for something that's, it's like an end table, but it's also a dog crate. So he can sleep in there at night yeah, and one of the challenges now with our virtual world is we'd like to actually see one and see yeah. what it actually looks like. And so um, Lake County has a lot of shops up and down uh, the boulevard, and so we may try and uh, sneak into one of the Pet Smarts or Pet Co. and see what they've got. But um, yeah, I think that's about all we're going to do so far. Yep. So we'll take you guys and see what we can find. Hey guys, here we are. It's a brisk day, about 45 degrees and windy. So uh, we're gonna go and get in the car and start our day. All right, so we are stopping here at the Dollar Tree. We gotta get a bag for a birthday present for Larry's mom. Number so 82. Just, yep. So we're just gonna run in here and get a bag. We already got a card and everything, so it shouldn't take too long. And the significance of this is this is area was kind of my old stomping ground. We used to come shop here when I was, uh, when I was a kid. There wasn't a Dollar Tree. Paper in a bag. Good. All right, we're ready. Okay. Hey, everybody. Well, we're here for breakfast at Round the Clock Restaurant, and uh, we're going to get the world famous four for four. You get four items for four bucks. And uh, yeah, so it's a great place for breakfast. And my mom and Joe are here with us. Say hi. Good morning. Say hi. Hello, folks. And all right, so. Let the eating commence. So this is the round o'clock version of four for four. You get one section of this, one section of this, one section of this, and one section of this. So it's a really good deal, it's a good food and a good price. All right, so have you guys ever heard of Vlogtober? No, everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, why don't you tell them what Vlogtober is? So you're, it's a thing on YouTube where you're supposed to vlog your life every day for the month of October. Wow, every day? Every day. What's vlogging? Vlogging is like people will write blog. blogs about their life, but this is video, so it's called a vlog. It's a video vlog. So it has to be a, a video. Yes. And 
just think how boring our vlog. <laughs> well, here comes our food. All right, so this is my breakfast. I got scrambled eggs, potatoes, and turkey bacon. And Amy's got biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs, bacon, and hash browns. And Mom and Joe have enough food there for both of them. They've got pancakes, sausages, scrambled eggs, and uh, and they got some fruit too. So I think it's time for us to dig in, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, we are here at Petco. We're gonna go in and see what kind of bed or crate we can find for a little man. Alright, so we are leaving Petco empty-handed. They did not have what we were looking for. So we might just head down the street to PetSmart and see what they have down there. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. So we are making a pit stop here at the TJ Maxx Home Goods. We're just going to see what they have. So the Home Goods store was a bust. Petco is a bust. We are now at PetSmart, still on the search. Not seeing what I'm looking for. So we are pulling up to Best Buy now because the card in our camera is full. So Larry is going to run in and get a new card. Yes, I am with this. This is going to go on though. <laughs> Hi everyone. So we just finished watching a movie. We watched the movie Traffic. It's a really good movie. It's a little older, but it's still really good. And Miss Joan has made us spaghetti and garlic bread, and it's all gluten-free, so Larry can eat it. And there's Joe, who's gonna have some too. Whoops. And a big thank you to mom for making oh, all this. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so you can see my mom just won at Risk It. We were playing dice. I won! Oh, well, she was the banker though. <laughs> she just bankrolled us. So Amy actually won. <laughs> The money goes to my mom who uh, bankrolled us. But here's the culprit, the guy who had the loaded dice that Irish dice won Irish. just about every game. I was forced into Irish dice. But anyway, congratulations, Joe. Hey, guys. Well, we're back at the hotel, and we've got a big decision to make. Are we going to go gamble? No. Well. We are not big gamblers. <laughs> If I'm going to throw my money away, I'd rather just give it to charity. Or get a pair of shoes. Or get a pair of shoes. Good morning, everybody. It's time for breakfast. And what a better way to start the day than a little bit of breakfast in bed. And so, went downstairs and got Amy a little breakfast. And so, we're starting off our morning right. Bye. Come back to visit us in November. All right, everyone, so we are on our way home and we have stopped at this place called Horton's, which is in Tipton, Indiana. They always have a really nice fall display out and there's a little shop inside that you can go in and shop for some fall decor. So we're gonna go see what their decorations look like this year and go inside the shop and see if there's anything we need for our house. Yeah, we came here on the way uh, down and uh Got the skull and crossbones, it was closed on Sunday. So we looked around and saw some pretty cool looking stuff, displays mm -hmm. and stuff. It's very festive here. And so we're gonna explore and maybe something will come home with us, who knows? So we'll see ya. So we're walking up to Horton's and it's kind of a windy, rainy day about 50 degrees so not the perfect day to be outside but not bad better than winter so you can see the corn stalks we're getting close and the open sign is illuminated so that's half the battle we're here So you can see the Horton sign and pumpkins aplenty here. Amy, 
wave to the folks at home. Well, we got a nice little shop there. I think we're gonna head inside and uh, see what kind of mischief we can get into. This looks a little weird to me. <laughs> Just like a head hanging on the wall. Or one right yeah. there. Maybe unicorns are lucky. People are already putting out their Christmas stuff, believing in the magic. I believe in the magic of waiting a little bit longer, but that's just me. I think this stuff is a little more rustic than what our home decor is. <laughs> yes, I would probably agree. All right, so we're walking around and Larry found this. The big Larry. The big Larry. This guy will light up a room. <laughs> Well, you do, honey. Oh, thank you, baby. Okay, everyone. So we ended up with a little mix to make a cheese ball, to make a peppermint uh, cheesecake, and two pieces of fudge. And it was only just under $20. So that's really not too bad. So not bad. Yeah, we've, I think we've got some, we'll call them the flavors of fall. Yeah. And uh, so we've got some nice little snacks to... Uh, to make on the way, to eat on the way home with the fudge, and then the other snacks we can make a little bit later. So, this is a successful trip. Yep, we'll see y'all later. All right. All right, everyone. So, we are headed home. We're going to be home very shortly, maybe in another five minutes, and I, for one, cannot wait. So, uh, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed our little trip with us. This is another vlog for Vlogtober. Yeah, and you know, trips are great, and certainly it was nice to see the family and and certainly get away for a little bit. <laughs> but as they say, there's no place like home. Yes, amen. <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.